joining me for this uh, spotlight interview today at the Anantara at the Movers and Shakers in Bangkok is the founder of Movers and Shakers, Case Kaipas. Case, nice to see you again. Hi, Paul. Case, I'm saying you're the, you're the founder. People watching this might think, oh yeah, Movers and Shakers has been in Bangkok now for a few months, but it goes much further back. Not that much. In 2009, we did the first annual event on the Eastern Seaboard. Mm -hmm. And um, the intention was on the Eastern Seaboard not to do anything else than just an annual event, which mm -hmm. to date we have done three. Mm -hmm. And we're scheduled for the fourth one uh, later this year on Friday the 30th of November, again on the Eastern Seaboard. Eastern Seaboard. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess what, what, is the, what is the driving force for you to do this? Is it, is it is it networking? Is it is 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 part of it the 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 charitable or the corporate social responsibility? Or? It's a combination of both, really. Um, the networking has my personal priority because it grows my business. It's interesting to meet different people, different backgrounds. Um, the charity part has always been a significant part of organizing the events because I don't have to organize a network event to get money out of it. My, my business is properties and, and, and so, so be it. Um, but in addition to corporate networking, I, give, I think it gives it a bit of a soft edge. Okay. And uh, to, to do something back for society, especially when it's local charity, mm -hmm. um, I think gives a good feeling to everyone. Okay. So what made you then say, because it's a bit of a different mindset, to then say, okay, I'm now going to take this concept and crystallize it or condense it into a monthly networking, which we're quite familiar with, I guess, in Paria and, and people will be in Bangkok, but to take what you've been doing in, in Pattaya and of course, it, it should be mentioned that you were also the, the chairman of Lighthouse Club, which was a, a monthly networking event in Paris, again with a charitable status. What is the, uh, the impetus for then saying, yeah, I think, I, think bank, I think there's a niche, I think there's a need there? The niche was that after two years of hard work to build up the Lighthouse Club monthly corporate networks in Pattaya, which grew out to, as you know, probably the biggest corporate network functions on the Eastern Seaboard. Um, my niche was when after two years I decided, okay, I'm going to step down as a chairman. Um, we found let's say a role model in how these network functions perfectly uh, operate and then we I had a friend actually that said okay well you're done with Lighthouse why don't you bring a similar concept under the name Movers and Shakers to Bangkok and that's how it started. Okay, okay well it's interesting now we're talking a lot about Padia and Bangkok but there's rumors going around and I noticed that uh, there's someone here tonight who's does business up in Chiang Mai, that things might be happening on a, a broader scale. Yeah, um, I, I expect within this year that we will have two more chapters in different regions. Mm -hmm. One will be in Chiang Mai, as you mentioned, and another one will be in Phuket, all under the same name, the same concept, which really brands the name Movers and Shakers for corporate networking in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Um, I won't have a lot of hands-on involvement. I will advise and try to direct the way they, they should operate these events. Uh, but it will certainly help me to, uh, to, to maybe become the biggest corporate network in Thailand. So, so it's like you say, you, you kind of created the model and then it's up for these uh, the, the local like route. franchise almost. Yes, it is yeah. indeed, okay. Is, is there any time for the family man in amongst all this? I mean, you're the managing uh, partner of Town & Country Property and then all the other work that you do with, with Movers and & Shakers. And I know that you have a young son. Yeah. Uh, his name is Chester. And uh, most of my time, my private time, is spent with him. Um, so, yeah, I do spend a lot of time let's say for the family, okay. um, but every now and then when I go out, it's usually for a corporate network event, sure. and, sure. uh, and that's it. Okay, all right. Um, well, I was gonna ask you if you're a mover or shaker, but we'll hold that for a second because, or, or, or maybe this is linked to it, because uh, the next event is something of a special event in terms of the movers and shakers of Bangkok because it coincides with your half century. Right? 
correct. That makes it Does that make it sound even older, right? Uh, just mm -hmm. my 50th birthday, yeah, correct. But actually, the, the networking will be on, on, actually it's, on yeah, the same 19th day. 19th of July. Okay, 19th of At July. Conrad Hotel. Conrad yeah. Hotel, okay. So, for those who don't know, the networking is open to anybody. You're looking for business professionals, obviously. It's, uh, yeah, business professionals, people with their own enterprise or usually based here in, in Thailand, whatever corporate background, you know, could be IT or, or, or media or properties like myself, it doesn't really matter. That, I think, is what makes networking interesting to continue to meet different type of people. Sure. And um, so, yeah, basically everyone is welcome. Okay. But that's the key in networking, isn't it? New blood all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so are you a mover or are you a shaker? <laughs> um, I'm I'm a type of person that if I take my mum to an island for a holiday, um, it's more than likely that after two or three hours I start to get nervous. <laughs> um, and it's, it's probably a fact that after two days I'm happy to go home because I'm, I'm too active, maybe overactive. Mind's going out. And um, my mindset is just not prepared to do boring work so I'm always expanding my horizons whether that makes me a mover or a shaker I'm not sure um, but when it starts moving a lot of things start shaking that's for sure <laughs> that's a good answer. Case thank you very much okay, and we'll see you on your birthday next month okay thank you thank you, thank you.